Hello, my name is RD, and we are going to solve this example problem of DC not voltage method. So the question is, use the not voltage method or nodal analysis to find the branch current, so IA, IB, and IC in this circuit here. Okay, maybe let's put this here, this node here, as our ground. So the voltage here will be equal to zero. And let's name this node here as node, what is it? Node X maybe? I don't know. Let's just name it node X. Okay. And we can assume the direction of the current. This is going to the right. This is going down. And this is going down. And I just follow the direction of the arrow here. So we can use KCL to find out this voltage here at the node X. So we can use KCL at node X. So basically node voltage method is using KCL multiple times. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the currents that goes out. Okay. In this node X here, there are two currents that goes in, which is IA and this three here. However, what is IA? Using Ohm's law, we know that this is IA is this node here, which is 50 minus Vx divided by the resistance between them. So we will have 50 minus Vx divided by 5. Okay. And this 3 ampere also goes in into the node X. So we will have plus 3. And on the right hand side, we will have the current that goes out, which is IB and IC. But IB is Vx minus 0, which is Vx divided by 10. And by the using same logic, we can calculate IC here using Vx minus 0, that will be Vx divided by 40. And I think multiplying both sides by 40 will obliterate the denominator. So we have 40 here. And 5 and 40 will cancel out into 8. So we will have 8 multiplied by 50, that will be 400. Then minus 8 Vx. But then this will be 3 multiplied by 40. So we will have plus 120. And then this one will be 4 Vx. And then this one will be Vx. Okay, and I think we will have 400 plus 120. That will be 520. And then we will have 4 plus 1. That will be 5. And then... 5 plus 8, that will be 13 Vx. So, what is Vx? Vx is 100 and 520 divided by 13. And I think that is equal to 40 volt. Yeah, Vx is 40 volt. Okay, but then if Vx is 40 volt, we can calculate Ia. IB and IC. What is IA? Okay, what is IA? IA is just 50 minus Vx, which is 40. So we'll have 50 minus 40 divided by 5. So we will have, that will be 10 divided by 5, that will be 2 ampere. And this is for IA. And then for IB, what is IB? IB is Vx divided by 10. And what is Vx? 40. So we'll have 40 divided by 10. That should be 4 ampere. And what is IC? IC is Vx divided 40. So that will equal to uh, 40 divided by 40. That should be 1 ampere. So the answer is IA is 2 ampere. So IA is 2 ampere, and then IB is 4 ampere, and then IC is 1 ampere.
And I think that is all for this example problem. Hopefully that is clear enough for you. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.